be on here. I have to correct several things that the person who called in said. It, if that person is a current officer or a retired officer, here's the thing. When police officers are killed, police officers are always going to take the side of the families and the victims. But there are actual facts about this case that she got wrong. And her last words on the call was, we don't really know what happened. That's the, that was her final sentence when she called in. We don't really know what happened. We do kind of know what happened. Police officers barged into a house. It was a drug house, and there were two men in the house, Carrie Spencer and Nate Woods. When they barged into the house, Ricky, the moment they barged in, they sprayed Nate right in his face with pepper spray. Nate then ran crazily through the house and ran out the back window of the bathroom, ran across the street and sat on the front porch where he never left. While he ran out of the house, his friend, Carrie Spencer, who is in prison on death row right now, shot and killed a police officer. When other police officers heard that, they came running in and he shot and killed two more police officers. Nate wasn't even in the house when that happened. Mm. Carrie, Carrie testified when, in his trial. Carrie testified in Nate's trial. And Carrie has said to this very day, he was on CNN last night from death row, Carrie himself, that Nate had nothing to do with the shooting. Nate did not know the shooting was going to happen. It was not planned. They, the police came to the house, Ricky, with a misdemeanor arrest warrant for an unpaid ticket. Mm. You, you want me to believe that Nate so badly wanted to avoid a misdemeanor that he orchestrated three police officers being killed. Nate had never been violent a day in his life, never touched those guns, never said, let's shoot police. Here's what they, here's what they did. This is how foolish and ridiculous this case was. They literally went and found a Dr. Dre song that Nate liked that says something bad about police to say that that shows us that Nate had a hate for police. Wow. Come on. The case is so ridiculous. I don't think that I would hope that in 2020 that Nate would not be convicted for this. But in 2004, which doesn't sound like it's that long ago, but it's 16 years ago, mm -hmm. 2004, you have three white police officers killed in Birmingham, which at that point in time, was the largest number of white people ever killed in one shooting in the history of Birmingham. They were going to have blood. Mm. And here's the thing. They could have just convicted Kerry and sentenced Kerry to death. I'm against the death penalty in general, but Kerry committed the crime. He's always owned it, never denied it, always admitted it. That's on his soul. Kerry wrote a letter yesterday just saying, that to him, Nate didn't even actually deserve to be charged. He wasn't an accomplice. There is no crime at all that Nate committed. It's awful that Nate was there, but from my perspective, Nate was actually a victim. Like, he, he did not want this to happen. He has always regretted that it happened. He had nothing to do with it. Anybody saying otherwise is lying. Wow. There's no evidence. Nobody's ever testified that Nate helped plan it. They made that up. The, oh. the shooting wasn't even planned. It, when the police bars into the house, it shocked the hell out of Carrie, who started shooting almost right away. Right. And like it's like this was not, it's, it's awful, it's horrible. I feel awful for the families of the victims, period. But you can't hold Nate responsible for something he didn't do. And, and here's, I'll close with this. They offered Nate a plea deal, which shows you back in the day that they didn't actually think that Nate, like if you thought Nate actually orchestrated these killings, there'd be no plea deal. Yep. They offered Nate a plea deal for 20 years. Nate's attorneys told him, that means he, he'd be released in four years. But Nate's attorneys told him not to take it. They thought they could actually get him off completely. And instead of getting him off completely, they convicted him of capital murder. Mm. And mm. Like, there is actually no crime that Nate committed that day. If you are 
in the vicinity of a crime, that's not an accomplice. There's, there's not a, there's, no one testified that Nate strategized or planned that. That's a complete concoction of their imagination just to try to convict this man. And, and here's what I know about the officer who called in. Black folk will work against black folk in every case like this. Like there's, you go all the way back to the plantation, and there's always somebody who will say that we deserve every bit of, of punishment and horror that comes our way. For her to say that Nate deserves death for just being in the house, it's bogus. In fact, in most states, you couldn't even convict somebody for capital murder if they were just there. You, normally, in most states, they actually have to have pulled the trigger or had the weapon. There are other crimes you could convict them of. They shouldn't even be in jail. Mm. And um, that, that they are about to execute this man, I think, is one of the most grisly, unjust uh, things I've witnessed in my entire life. He's a sweet soul. He's uh, just a regular dude. His sister, uh, who's there in Birmingham, right. I mean, there in Alabama now, trying to stop his execution. She's been fighting for him her whole life. Wow. And uh, his family is devastated. It's, well, man, it's a it's a modern day lynching. Yeah. What, 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 son, let everybody know how you could be reached. Well, people can follow me on, on social media, but what I really want people to do today, if they can, go to savenate.com. And here's what I encourage everybody to do. And I, I would say this for any case I ever advocate for. Google it yourself. Mm -hmm. Go to, but you can go to savenate.com. We post all the court files, all the transcripts. Look at the evidence yourself. They're wow. about to execute a man that does not deserve it. it it's outrageous. All right, y'all. Sean King. Hey, appreciate you, man. Yeah, take care now. All right, y'all. More Rick's Monday Morning Show coming up.